I'm using the Teensy 3.6 and I am making an analog joystick controlled USB mouse. I'm using the push button as a mouse left click button just for testing. I'm not doing a complete mouse with all the scroll wheel and right mouse click buttons. And then there's this switch here which controls the LED for one thing but it turns on and off the joystick control. So if this is plugged into a computer and the LED here is on, this will control the mouse. If I press this button, the LED goes off and I'm no longer sending mouse controls. I bought two of these a while ago and it's an analog joystick so it has a 10k potentiometer for X and Y so you can move any directions and your 10k pot is going to adjust. It also has a push button here so you can push down and the pinouts are ground and they call it plus 5 volts but it could be whatever you want as long as you don't exceed the power rating. And then you just have the wiper of the pot for X and for Y and then the switch. There's no onboard pull up resistor for the switch so it's open and then when you press it it gets connected to ground. The two 10k pots have their endpoints in parallel across VCC and ground. So you would measure a 10k resistor in parallel with a 10k or 5k across the power, 4.5 with the tolerance. So I'm using digital inputs 0 and 1 for the mouse on and off mode as well as the left click button and then analog input 0 and 1 for the analog X and Y joystick controls. So being plugged into USB, I can update the firmware in here and then as soon as it reboots, it starts acting as a mouse. With the joystick position, so these header pins are on the left, X is horizontal and Y is vertical. So I can hold this in this alignment and then as I move this around, the mouse cursor should follow exactly what I'm doing. I chose to put my Teensy 3.6 board to use. I've had it for a while and all I've done is blink an LED so far. It's a 32-bit, 180 megahertz ARM Cortex-M4 processor. We have a 3.3 volt output that can handle 250 milliamps max and I wouldn't try to be going anywhere near that but just a couple of GPIO driving a couple of 10k pots on an analog joystick should be perfectly fine. So this has a lot of I.O. including extra pins on the bottom surface mount pads and even going across non-standard edge headers. It's crammed in so much some of the text is written sideways and tinier fonts but I've only populated the two edge rows because I want to be able to use this in a breadboard. So I'm going to be using digital inputs 0 and 1 for buttons and analog 0 and 1 for the mouse X and Y axes. In order to use the Teensy within the Arduino development environment, we have to install the add-on Teensy Duino. So once you've installed this add-on, you get several more options in the menus of the regular Arduino development environment. And you would select which Teensy board you have, and if you're doing special USB things like acting as an HID keyboard, mouse, joystick, etc. controller, you would choose this under USB type. This is all in the tools menu. Otherwise, it basically runs the same. I worked from this public domain joystick mouse control sketch over on the Arduino site and just made a few minor tweaks. I've got a mouse enable button which is a separate push button on the breadboard next to the Teensy and the mouse left click button is going to actually be the push button on the joystick itself. My x-axis is on analog 0 and y is on analog 1 and I'm using the onboard Teensy LED to tell if we are controlling the mouse or if we are disabled. There's some variables here involved with scaling the analog axis readings and figuring out where the center is in the readings because when the joystick is not being pressed it's going to be about halfway give or take some tolerance so 
they're just setting a maximum range of 12, and they're saying the center is 6, and they're setting a threshold of 12 divided by 4 is 3, so that means if the joystick is centered, it's not being pressed, the scaled readings are going to be around 6, but in order to trigger that we have moved, and it's time to move the mouse cursor, we have to have moved at least 3 away from center. So that's the threshold. That helps account for the fact that the center is not going to be exactly the same on every axis and on every joystick. So in the setup, our two buttons to enable the mouse and to have a left click button, we set them as inputs with pull-ups and then we externally will ground them if we want to assert the button. The first thing we want to do in the main loop is check if the mouse is even supposed to be enabled and responding or not. We keep track of that state with the mouse is active variable. So we read in the mouse enable switch, and if it has changed since the last time we were in this loop reading it, we've either just pressed it down and it's just gone low, or we've just released it and it's just gone high. So if the switch state is high, meaning we've had a change in the switch and it's been released, we toggle whether the mouse is active or not. So it's basically a momentary toggle switch. And we'll turn the LED on or off to indicate if we have an active mouse or not. So after we're done figuring out if the mouse is enabled or not, we store the state of that as previous state, and next time through the loop we'll be able to compare again to what we just had and see if we've had a change since getting down here. Now it's time to read the actual mouse analog inputs. So there's one function called read axis, and we tell it whether we want to read the x or y axis analog input. So we do an analog read of either the x or the y axis, and that goes into the reading variable. We are taking a reading on either x or y. So now that analog input is going to be converted into a digital reading between 0 and 1023, and we want to scale the reading over to something instead between 0 and range, and we earlier defined range as 12. So now we have a normalized 0 to 12 reading that we can work with. Center was defined at the beginning as well, and that equals 6 if our overall range is 12. And now we're going to calculate what distance the joystick has moved on whatever axis we're reading. So we subtract the center from the current reading. For example, let's say we read in 10. So the distance is 10 minus the center, or 4. Now this threshold was defined as being 3. We need to be moving at least 3 away from center in order to be considered moving. So if the absolute value, because it can be plus or minus, of this distance of 4 is less than our threshold of 3, ignore it. Set the distance to 0. We don't want to move. So otherwise, just return the distance of 4. We already checked if the mouse is supposed to be active or disabled, so if the mouse is active, move the mouse cursor by x and y, and no activity on the scroll wheel. And next, check if there has been a left mouse click. So we do a digital read on the left mouse button input, and if it equals low, that means we are currently pressing it. So we can check if the mouse left button is already currently recognized as being pressed. If it is not currently being pressed, well, assert the left mouse press. So otherwise, when we read the left mouse button, if it's high, meaning it's not being pressed, we check, again, if it's been pressed. If so, release the left button. So now the circuit, currently the mouse is disabled, so I push the button, the light comes on, and now I'm using this joystick to control the mouse. Up, down, left, right. If I turn this off, now I move and the mouse cursor stays. Turn it back on and I can move. And now the joystick button is the left click, so if I want I can click here and the mouse cursor will come here. And there it is. Or if I go somewhere else, it's very sensitive, 
If I click and hold and then drag the mouse, I can highlight stuff. And then I release and then I can move around and I've got this stuff highlighted. If I want to just click away and not have it highlighted, I can go here, click, and the cursor is down here now. So it works. And I can go any direction, diagonals, just like a regular mouse. So now I know how to get the Teensy environment all set up and how to use an Arduino as a USB HID controller. I'll be working on some more USB controller stuff soon. Arduino controlled analog joystick acting as a USB mouse.